In this tutorial and following ones, we're going to take a brief look at tools that researchers use in analyzing sequences. Quality assessment is the first of the steps that researchers use in analyzing sequencing reads. The purpose of quality assessment is that it allows scientists to differentiate between potential disease-causing mutations. Contest is the first tool that we'll be looking at. Contest is a tool that estimates how contaminated a read is. FastQC is the next tool we will look at, and what it does is that it helps in checking the quality of raw sequences and makes sure you have accurate reads. There are a variety of input formats that can be used with FastQC, and one of its most convenient features is that it can run offline quality assessments so you won't have to stay with it until it gets done. Here, we have two examples of quality assessment graphs. On the left, we have a brief overview of what researchers want in a good report. And as you can see, that it's very consistent in the varying positions, whereas on the bad report, which is on the right, there are variations and errors in the reads and varying positions. Galaxy is the next tool that we'll be taking a look at. A Galaxy integrates many tools into one interface, and not only can it perform quality assessment on reads, but it can also perform alignment and visualization, which are further steps of analysis that are down the line that we'll talk about. NGSQC is the next tool we will be looking at. And what NGSQC stands for is Next Generation Sequencing Quality Control. What NGSQC does is that it evaluates the quality of chip sequencing reads and can search for descriptors of data sets, transcription factors, and histone modifications. PRINSIC is the last tool we'll be looking at. PRINSIC helps in filtering and reformatting genomic and metagenomic sequence data and it to make sure that you have good quality sequences just like the other tools. The next video will be on read alignments and we'll briefly talk about the tools that go along with that. Thanks for watching.